As we all have only one mother and one motherland, which lies very deep in our soul, and we'll never forget it. But life has changed so much now. And the country I'm living in now, actually, I think, has been a very good stepmother. My heart somehow say, go and see. Only I am very frightened how it will be after when I see everything change. Maybe I will be very unhappy when I come back. I don't know. We are two grandmothers. No, <laughs> we, we did not know each other no, in Latvia. No, we didn't, because you lived uh, on one side of Latvia yes. and I lived on the other side. I lived in district Kurzeme. And I lived with them. But you were born in with them too. Yes, yes I was, yes. Uh, not far from you. And I was uh, swimming in the same river. You oh, did go, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, so... And we met each other only here in, in Brisbane. Brisbane. That's right. Through our children. Yes, you, you never know... Yes. ...how, how it goes. No, <laughs> yes. where you no. meet each other, no. yes. And no. now we are so good friends. Yes, <laughs> and we, yes, we are it's good. It was a war time. Russian army came closer and closer. We were all were very frightened. So we went out to my husband's parents farm because my mother-in-law was very frightened. We knew it. We must leave. We could not wait for the Russians. So we, we got a big, strong wooden chest. We put in silver, crockery, homewoven linen, woolen blankets, national dresses, and all good things. And that night, our man dug a deep hole and lowered the chest into the hole. They covered it with rocks. And then they filled in the hole with soil. And suddenly, we had to run away from home because of war. We thought we soon will be back, but we never got back. We lived 
It's through one of the worst nights of bombing while still in Latvia as refugees. That was in 1944, in October. We have left our home about a week ago, traveling by horse and cart, as all the other hundreds of people trying to escape. The Russian front was gradually closing in on us. When we came to a little township in Kurzemes, that's the western part of Latvia, we were stopped by German army commandos. All the horses and other animals were stationed in the yard, and the people just stayed wherever they could. The bombing started at about 11 o'clock at night and with short intervals went right through the night until about five o'clock in the morning. Most of the township and the surroundings were destroyed by bombs or by fire. We survived. But the place where the horses were was badly hit. In the morning, when we went to look for the horse, this, the place was a scene of horror. Injured and dead animals everywhere. When I saw a part of a cow hanging in a tree, I closed my little daughter's eyes and tried to take her out of the place as quick as possible. Despite my efforts to protect her, she must have noticed some of it because she's got still some memories of that day. Our family arrived in Australia by ship in 1949. It took the ship four weeks to come from Europe to Australia. We landed in Newcastle, but we didn't stay there. We were taken by buses to the immigration camp. Unfortunately, the bus went through quite a long stretch of bushfire, devastated countryside. When I saw the burnt out bare trees, it gave me a bit of a shock. I thought, goodness me, is Australia like that? Anyway, when we arrived in the camp, the scenery was different. All the trees had leaves and uh, they were even some big flowering trees, and they were beautiful. And that was a, a, the first thing I really liked in Australia. After seeing a couple of dogs happily running around, my mind was eased even a bit more. We went for long walks around the camp and gradually started to think of our life ahead in a new country. Stereo. We all like music and we thought what we can do. We have records. Many gave us new records and we didn't have a record player. So we decided we save very hard and we bought it. And it was first stereo. Chrysler first stereo. And we were so happy that day when man brought here. And that time, you know, they what they did, they made special programs for stereo. And then our friends came, and we were sitting on the floor and all listening. And it sounded like you are in a concert hall. It really was very, 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 very nice. We enjoyed so much. And then we played our records. 
Latvian records and dance music, and young ones could dance, so we were happy about it. It was quite dear. We planted the mango tree from seed, and it's grown so quick and so big. Now it's a menace. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> 